A really great informative piece uh, based around um, Brexit and the drama that went to the initial referendum and how the response was afterwards. I'm pretty familiar with the Brexit, but I thought that this piece really great created a, a great entry point for someone that wasn't that familiar. And even for somebody like me that was um, generally following the story, I thought it was very interesting to watch the people on the ground, hear the testimonies on how they felt about it and, and how um, the Brexit really affected um, the European European Union and the UK in particular. And I only in particular, I believe, and in, in how um, it changed the dynamics economically and sort of um, maintain the reason why this was um, implemented in the first place and why you joined the European Union in the first place. And I thought that this was a really great way of creating an accessible um, path to understanding the, comp the complexities with it and also giving a human um, face and a sense of compassion to what was going on that made it uh, function beyond just sort of um, a political idea, but sort of um, a dynamic that real people had to deal with that would change their lives in a meaningful way. So I thought it was a great piece, a very informative piece. And they do a great job of setting the scene and introducing the leads uh, and the diegetic to non-diegetic music um, with the singer, uh, Madeline, Madalena Kay, uh, was great. Um, and watching her sort of narrate the story through her multiple, like not only through the music, but also through her call and responses on the road, I thought was really effective. Um, I, as somebody obviously not from the UK, so knowing very base knowledge about Brexit, I really love how the documentary highlighted uh, things that aren't common knowledge, uh, particularly everything that's going on in Ireland and the ways in which Brexit affects Ireland. Uh, I think that the documentary did a great job um, giving a lot of context to that narrative and uh, speaking not only to like officials, but to people in the country um, people like, you know, common folk who are like affected by the everyday, you know, machinations of the EU. I thought that was uh, really great and very informative. I love ending on the on the marching um, and the multiple polls and seeing how um, opinions have shifted and changed uh, and really get an understanding. I mean, the document is a great job of giving you an understanding of how polarizing this decision was. Bollocks to Brexit is a movement I've been knowing for years, and I think they did a great job in trying to educate people about what they were actually doing, because um, many people voted for Brexit, but then turned out to don't even know what they were voting for. And we're still now arguing about Brexit, still now in 2022, and there's people uh, who knows, maybe the Brexit is going to be uh, it's going to be cancelled one day, maybe not. Um, but uh, I like the idea that the commentary following this um, um, this group of um, this group of academics, artists, singers going around, um, uh, comedians going around Europe, uh, sorry, going around UK and educating people about the um, about the, the subject. And uh, it, it was uh, also very well edited with. Um, with an engaging cinematography in that action. Just to, to hear how much this Brexit will negatively affect the delicate uh, and fragile peace in Ireland, um, something that I didn't fully know about. And I thought this described it very well and had all different perspectives on this. Um, I love the passion that we got from Madalena Kay um, for this, uh, against this Brexit, you know, Brexit is bollocks. Um, I love that phrase in this film. Um, uh, I liked how they got the opinions from all the crowd and they, they did the, all these surveys that we saw in this film as well. Um, and also at the end of this film, even though Brexit does end up happening, I appreciated that this film ended on that note of hope and seeing how many people are against it after it's happened and how it could be overturned in the future. I loved learning about the Gaelic language resurgence and people in, involved in some different grassroots strategies to prevent UK to separating from separating from the Euro European Union when this was a discussion ongoing. They they spoke of a lot of devastating consequences which will come eventually. Um, I love the idea of the bollocks to Brexit bus tour. All the people involved there seem so knowledgeable and 
passionate about the uh, the message it sends to the world to want to be out of a previously accomplished peace treaty and union and the whole idea was just going backwards according to what they were discussing there and I also liked how they are they were reaching out to the youth in the hope to rejoin the EU, the European Union after they finally decided to leave it. Um, I love the final one of the final phrases and it's embedded in, in one of the songs this very talented people have compo composed bridges not borders. This was an eye-opening short. This film reveals how many people in the UK were opposed to Brexit. I was so impressed with the passion of the people in this film. I really loved hearing from musician Madalena Kay and her moving vocals. It's very apparent from this film how much Brexit has affected the UK and how Ireland is particularly affected. Great footage of the rallies and marchers and the yellow anti-Brexit bus. It's good to see that this debate is far from over as many people have changed their minds and now oppose Brexit.